Hey guys, it's Stefan here, and I'm here to talk about uh, my zombies map, Close Quarters. Uh, this is a devlog for that, so you're gonna see like the makings of the map and stuff. So yeah, this took like a good bit of around like um two years, a year and a half. It's been a while. And it's still not done. Only a few things left to do. But right now, it's at a pretty good playable state, so. If you wanted to play it, then I'll gladly give you like a link to the workshop page. Okay, so first off, here are some videos I recorded for this map um, back in its early days, as I've slowly built up more and more. So I'll go ahead and roll the clips now. You got it! Hey! Misty! You found your vibrant! Oh! What a mess! Stupid crap snacks! Burn! Makes the grass grow. Answer Zombie Blood. Alright, so I'm going to do a little commentary over this because it does get a little boring. So this is just like um, showing off the starting room and stuff. And also showing off like the weapons that I am I put in the map. Of course I didn't port the weapons myself, so usually just used from um, uh, this person named Sky. He does all the weapon ports from like, you know, Black Ops Cold War to BO3 or like, you know, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 2, all that stuff. And the only ports I used from him was Black Ops Cold War, uh, Modern Warfare, and Black Ops 1, but that comes a bit later for the uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare 29, 2019 that I will add. This is um, the main area that you can enter, like, like through, like, around, like, the left. Um, very unfinished. Uh, there's still some uh, dev textures in there. So in the spawn room there, there's actually supposed to be um, another window that the zombies can go through, but I haven't added that yet, and they just spawn in through like the floor and stuff. And also, there's a lack of fire in the room with Quick Revive. I added that just because I needed like some light source. See, when you, when I hit the box, I'm pretty sure I get the um, yep, I get the Hauer. Uh, Cold War weapons. Oh, it was my dumbass on the fucking grenade. Um. I'm pretty sure I also added the Black Ops 4 style, um, yep, max ammo. Black Ops 4 slash Black Ops Cold War. Um, just had to add, like, a little script for that uh, that I found on the internet. Probably from, uh, some, like, Black Ops 3 mod tools wiki forum. This is, um, the, um, the walkway to the power room here. 
very dark, haven't added any lighting yet. You can still, you can still see some uh, places that have been patched up, you can see like light shining through. Before I recorded the gameplay trailer, I had Nova 6 crawlers spawning. I have since gotten rid of them because they're, they're really, uh, they're just, they're not fun at all. And they're just another nuisance dad, and I wanted to replace them with the dog rounds because, well, that just seemed like it would work well. And also, here's some um, the use of the uh, new death machine. Um, the, um, the Reaper from Black Ops 1 replaces the death machine here. Uh, except now it has unlimited ammo. Here is um, the um, entrance to uh, Juggernaug by where you link the teleporter at upstairs. In fact, the room I'm about to enter um, right behind here. You'll see right here is where you link the teleporter at. Which, well, look at this. Is it the layout? The layout of this map is here, besides like one small area, and that's where. You go outside, um, kind of like close to the area where you go once. to um, power. And here is the mangler that I've added, which I don't remember who I got it from. I think I might be able to remember. I don't think it was NSC, because I don't remember if he does like AI. I think he does. I don't know. I'll figure it out, because I have to add all the uh, credits anyway. And here's um, me showing off the uh, Game Over music, which I've since changed. Alright, so... As you saw, that was the um, old recordings of the map before you know, I started actually like finalizing it. Um, what you're seeing now, this gameplay, is the current version of the map. This is the latest version of the map that's not even up on the workshop. Uh, oh yeah, regarding the workshop, um, if you want to play it, I'll gladly give you the link on like Discord or something. I'll go ahead and flash up my uh, Discord username. So yeah, things I've added since those recordings, I've definitely, well, of course, added more areas, finalized them, actually added the, I actually added the teleporter, um, as you saw in the trailer, um, I've actually added more weapons, uh, from Modern Warfare, um, removed some weapons from Cold War, because just to save up on space. Also, something I've added is that Every time you spawn in, the box location is randomized. So it could be at, you know, close to spawn, it could be upstairs, it could be downstairs. And yeah, I've also added an Easter egg. Um, it's, it's nothing special, all you gotta do is just like fill three soul boxes. And then there'll be a, like a buy landing. I could do a guide on it, cause it can be a little difficult. I, I know you might be thinking, oh it's just a soul box, but remember that uh, this map is... The, the quarters are close. <laughs> Hence in the name, Close Quarters. Like, it's very small and compact, especially in the areas where you have to fill the soul boxes. So I can give, like, a guide on, like, some sort of weapons that you should use. Um, and what perks you should have, if you really want to, like, get the Easter egg done fast by yourself. Um, things I've added since. I have also added environmental sounds. And, well, of course, I've changed the round music a bunch of times. Uh, in case you want to know what I use for my uh, um, music production, and when it comes to, like, round music, I use Apple Studio. I've also added the music player um, upstairs uh, by Jug. There's a music player that plays Splatoon music. It's, um, it's a jukebox uh, made by the Wet Egg. Um, I got it from Devra. And there's 16 tracks that you can play. There's tracks in the music box that's from Splatoon 1 and 2, but not 3 because Splatoon 3 hasn't canonically happened in this universe yet. So, remember that this takes place in 2021 when Demeta Dimensions Episode 1 first came out. Speaking of Demeta Dimensions, there is an area that directly references um, Demeta Dimensions Episode 1, the Pack-A-Bunch Room. That is, um, 
the first area in episode one with uh, the science team, uh, like, you know, the people in the laboratory testing the teleporter, the uh, portal device. So that scene there, that's where um, you go to, well, I mean, like, the aftermath of the, like, there's no one there, there's no dead bodies or anything, of course, because, well, um, spoiler alert, they aren't dead. Yeah, you'll be seeing more about that in, like, um, episode three and four. Whenever the hell that comes out. <laughs> eh. Anyway, that's basically going to wrap up today's video. Um, I'm sorry that it was kind of like a boring upload and it's like no animations in a while. I mean, there was that PM63 animation I made, but like, you know, that's nothing compared to like what else I've made before. So I'm sorry that I've been slacking with that, but I've been really busy with school. It's, it's honestly, it's really kicking my ass and it's been tough for me. So, I will be eventually getting back up to making videos like, you know, constant, but for now it's not gonna be that. Hell, this video has taken like at least like three to four hours, which I mean isn't really that bad, but still, like, it takes time out of my day, and I don't really have that much time in my day when I get back from school. So that sucks, but hey, I mean, if you guys like it, which honestly, looking at the view count and the recent videos, you guys seem to not, but uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Hope you guys have a good day. I'm probably going to have one too. Um, and I'm going to head out. Love you guys.